tutorial I just want to show you how um, to initially set up your website if you decide to use one of the pre-built templates which are available in Surf Web Plus. Now um, I'm using the latest version of Web Plus which is Web Plus X4. You may have a slightly older version but um, many of the menus are still the same. They might have um, some been renamed slightly but it shouldn't be anything to worry about. Now when I'm loaded up I get this nice little splash screen um, which gives me a number of options down the left hand side. If for any reason you've accidentally clicked the X and that's disappeared, um, what you'll want to do is go back to File and click on this um, option that says Startup Wizard and that'll bring this little splash screen back up. Now, um, as you see, because I clicked off the X, it's just loaded up a blank um, canvas for me to do my put my design in. And now I don't want that, I, I want to save myself a little bit of time. so. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to go back to my startup wizard and I'm going to click on this link here which says user design template um, and that loads up and shows me all of the um, websites which have been built by Surf which you can customise yourself and you can even um, you know if there's certain features you see in one uh, design which you would like to use in yours you can just co um, copy and paste those out into your design so um, I'm going to have a little scroll down and there's a number of different options and just go down until you see one that you think yeah that's you know sort of along the same lines as what I'm, I'm thinking of doing and um, so I'm going to choose this one here which once it loads up it shows me all the pages that are within this website the one called Tickle um, and if I don't want all these pages to be loaded up I can simply just click and untick them and then when I click open, it's only going to open now the home page and the about us page. So if I click on the open button there, you'll see that in the main window, um, it shows me uh, my home page, which I'm on at the moment. And I know I'm on my home page because I've got this little eye icon which has appeared. And I've also got uh, the about us page. One of the main key features um, of making sure all your pages are kept consistent is this um, thing called a master page and this is where you're going to be putting your main design for your site because it will the, the master page template will then appear in the background of all of your pages um, so I've got this master page A and I've got master page B um, I'm not too sure why that's there so I'll get rid of it by just clicking on the little minus sign so we're just going to keep to one master page just to keep things simple now, um, if you're not on the master page, and I'm on this home page here, and I want to change this title, you'll notice that I'm trying to click on it, but I can't actually select it, and I can't select any of the graphics. I can only select things which have been put onto uh, the actual page. So, if I go to back to my master page, I can now click and I can select the title that's been given here. So, if I change that, say Mr. Gregson, and I'll make this box a bit smaller just to illustrate what I mean like that and if I click back onto my home page now you'll see that the titles changed and the positioning of the box changed and same for the about us page so whatever changes you make to the master page will be reflected in all of your pages um, another um, useful thing worth pointing out now is this thing called your colour scheme designer so if your client has asked for a specific colour scheme that um, they wish you to use you can set that in serif so if I click on colour scheme you'll see that this is the current colour scheme that our website's using so there's a number of different um, colours for the main scheme of the website and then specific ones for hyperlinks that I've used and follow hyperlinks and so on and I can simply change the colours of those by clicking on a little drop down um, button here so if I want my hyperlinks to be pink and my followed hyperlinks I'm going to click on more colours and I've got an actual colour select here so I'm going to go to this blue colour here and click OK that will then update my website and any pages which have got links on um, will now be reflected in those colours so I've got the pink links there and if they were being clicked on they will ch t change that blue colour Okay, uh, thank you for watching and I'll um, put some more tutorials up for future things that you can do.